Hello, I'm Alan Gregoire, and this is a conference conversation from the Marseille Society Conference uh, 2022 in London. And I have with me uh, Professor Ian Jones from Cardiff University, uh, who's been involved in some of the organisation of the conference. Uh, thanks very much for joining us uh, for this short conversation, Absolutely Ian. Absolutely pleasure, Alan. Thanks for doing these short interviews. It's and, uh, great, great for the conference to have uh, you doing them. And I hear that we have people come from all over the world to it's this fantastic. conference. It's fantastic. We've we had to miss the last uh, conference in Iowa because of um, COVID. It's so good that the Marseille Society can meet together again. It's such a wonderful group of people who come from many different nations of the world. And increasingly, actually, as, as you will more than anybody be aware of, this is an area that is chiming with people from all around the, the, the globe. Um, and to get people to come together is, is such a pleasure again after we've missed out for so long. Mm -hmm. And it's, the Marseille Society really is a bit of a fan. I mean, people say this quite often, but it really yeah. feels like a family. It it's... does. And, the, and the, the Marseille people are the nicest people, I think, <laughs> out of any of the kind of organisations, academic, clinical groupings that I, I deal with. Yeah, Marseille is the one where I feel most at home. It's one where, yeah, yeah, I, I, I um, share most in common with, with, with the people. And it really does feel like a family, I think. It's, it, it, it's great. And there's a fabulous mix. So we had a, 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 a welcome reception yesterday in the, the Grand Hall at King's. Uh, and I met a wonderful mix of people from academia, but also from, even though it's a fundamentally a research organisation, also people from uh, peer support yeah. groups, people with lived experience, yeah. cl pure clinicians yeah. who aren't researchers at all, all coming together. Uh, with this commitment to perinatal mental health. That's, I'm sure that's its strength, actually, that you have that, 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 that variety. It's not just researchers, you know, boring, dry, old researchers. It's people with that lived experience, people with that clinical experience, you know, people from the third sector all coming together because of they feel this is such an important area because, you know, the mental health of, of, of women, their babies, their families, and wider society, you know, impacts on wider society is such an important um, uh, area to, to, to focus on. It, 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 it's fantastic. Uh, you know, I, 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 I've, since coming to my first Marseille meeting many years ago now in, in, in Oxford, yeah, it's been one of the, the highlights of the calendar. And it, it was such a shame, as I say, that we, we couldn't meet together in Iowa two, two years ago. But to, to get together again in London is, is, has been brilliant. Now, talking of dry, boring researchers that you mentioned, you're there's not a, one a, of them. There's a number of those, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're not I one of them. Myself, uh, yeah, as, as one of and them. you are coming up, I understand, to retirement, I, Ian. I think I am, yeah. Whether that, I don't think that would be complete retirement, Alan, <laughs> much as, you know, yeah, yeah, you've retired over the last years, but, you know, I've been as busy as ever, I'm sure. I'll, I'll, I'll keep working. I'm hoping to, to continue with an appointment at the university. Uh, in some capacity, and then there's lots of other things that I'm involved with that it would be really good to 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 give some time to as well. You know, I'm sure, like yourself, the the you know, the guilt of not being able to to do anything yeah with the time that you that, that it deserves kind of weighs heavily on your shoulders. So, so it's quite so, a lot for you looking forward. I hope so. Might I be allowed to just look back a little bit with you and? Uh, just pick your brains on kind of the highlights of things that emer that have emerged from research well, um, in the past. Let's I don't know. Let's say ten years in perinatal. Well, in my my area of, question, of, of interest, I think is is in um, uh, postpartum psychosis and, and and severe episodes in the perinatal period. And I think you know I'm, I'm kind of very proud of the work that we've done in that, understanding more about what are the factors that increase risk for for women at this time understanding more about the particular risk of women with bipolar disorder, for example, at that time, and beginning what I think will be incredibly productive work over the coming decades, I think, because it's going to take that long, is really trying to understand the complex mix of the biological, the social, the psychological factors that, that uh, increase risk, and, you know, and, and beginning, uh, yeah, some of the, the work to look at genetic factors in particular. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a long um, uh, uh, process, you know, you know the, the human brain is the most complex you know, thing in the, in, the, in, in, in the universe and to understand that properly is going to take time. But we're starting to move along that, that, that you know, move, 
really is going to be a long-term process, I think. And I think sometimes we, we get impatient because these um, is such an important area. We want to, 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 to solve everything and sort everything and have the answers quickly. But I think we must recognize that, that, that it's going to take us a while. And it's going to take all of those groups that we talked about before, the, the academics, the researchers, the clinicians, the women themselves, the women with lived experience, work, you know, the charities working together to, listening to, to each other, it, listening to each other, understanding mm -hmm. what the issues are, you know, and, and what the what the questions that we need to ask. And yeah, I feel very encouraged that we're moving in the right direction. Yeah, recognizing that progress is slow, mm -hmm. but it's but we it's do early know days. a lot of things that we didn't know ten I, years ago. I, so I think so. I think it, you know we're going we live in the in right exciting direction. Times. I think so. I hope, I hope so. So I suppose yeah. the message is watch this space because yeah. there's plenty of stuff emerging, yeah. and the Marseille Society conferences are the place to hear about it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Terrific. Thank Fantastic. you very much, Ian. Thank you, Alan.